Thanks, Jay. It was the last time he invited me to fly fish anywhere. And Marie, I'm glad to know that we can now use beer as a compelling force for LWCF. Tester got awfully excited when he heard that. I sort of feel like every time we get together with this deadline looming, that we're on a re-education program of what, about what LWCF is. And in part that's true. We're re-educating people in Washington about what it is because people across this country from the West Coast to the East Coast know what good work LWCS has done. Um, as Dan alluded, uh, 80, um, almost $900 billion in economic revenues generating, consumer spending. $65 billion in federal tax revenues. Zero cost to the American taxpayer for LWCF. Now, that's a compelling argument for members of Congress. This actually grows the GDP, it produces tremendous tax revenues, and it costs the taxpayer zero. And look at what we do with LWCF funds. We take LWCF funds and we leverage those with private sector funds to protect some of the treasures in every state across this country. Um, that's the beauty of it, is that every state has an opportunity to protect those treasures that future generations will be able to enjoy. This is not a federal lands deal. This is a conservation effort. And let me mention that there's zero taxpayer money in this. I want to keep hounded on that because I think that my colleagues up here believe that there is actually a cost to LWCF. As a matter of fact, uh, Maria has been very brave to not only uh, push permanent reauthorization, but, but permanent funding. All we want is what the founders of this program envisioned, that 100% of the dollars that were royalties off of exploration fund LWCF, not that any of it gets siphoned off for other uses. So we've got a long way to go to have reauthorization, to have permanent reauthorization, and more importantly, full funding for LWCF. Now, if I forgot to tell you, this costs taxpayers zero. <laughs> and I hope if there's one takeaway that you take back to our colleagues, both House and Senate, is that this is one of the most important conservation programs in America. And taxpayers are the beneficiaries of it, not the funders of it. Thank you.